Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom URL for unassigned calendars. You may have different staff in your company. Let's say we choose Jimmy today. We're going to create an onboarding calendar for Jimmy where your SaaS clients can book onboarding appointments. Let's do it. All right, first we're gonna click on calendars on the left. Then we wanna click calendar settings. And down here, you can either select one of your existing calendars or you simply create a new one. Let's create a new one real quick. Here we wanna explore more types. Let's say we wanna select a service booking. Then we wanna give the calendar a name. Let's call it demo calendar. Let's add a staff member here. And here is the custom URL. So here you can see it will be your main URL, your root URL, youragency.com slash widget slash booking slash. And then here we can type something like onboarding with Jimmy, for example. Okay, great. Here you can see there's no error showing up, which tells us, hey, yes, this URL is available. Let's remove it real quick and let's type something more general. For example, sales, right? So this slug is already taken, therefore you cannot use it. So let's go back with onboarding with Jimmy, which is great. Then let's hit confirm at the bottom and that's it. Here are your links. Let's copy this. Let's open it in new tab. And here at the top, you can see the URL, which will be your white labeled domain URL, link.youragency.com, for example, then slash widget slash bookings slash onboarding with Jimmy. And that's it. And that's it already. This is how you set up custom URLs for your unassigned calendars. I hope you learned something new today and I will see you in the next video.